All right, so if you want to follow along, I will be using sequelpractice.com, which has a ton of completely free questions for you to practice SQL. And the problem says, show the total amount of male patients and the total amount of female patients in the patients table. Display the two results in the same row. So for this question, we are using a database that contains fake data from a hospital. And they tell us that we should use the patients table to get our data. So let's go ahead and take a look at the table by running a select star. And as you can see, it's a pretty straightforward table. You get a patient ID, first name, last name, gender, birth date, city, province ID, allergies, and the height and weight of each patient. So let's get to solving it. So we want the total amount of male and female patients. So how do we differentiate between the two of them? We're going to be using the gender column here. And it tells us M if it's a male and F for a female. So if you wanted to do a count of all the rows in this table, which we can see down here, it's 4,530 rows. Uh, or the amount of patients. Uh, we could just do here in the select statement, I'm going to do a select count star from patients, and I'm going to run that. And it's just going to give us that count, that 4,530. I could also done like, uh, instead of select star, you know, any of the columns in that uh, table. So I can run that again. As you can see, we get the same number. And let me format this the way I like it. And if we wanted a count of all the males, we can just add a where filter and we can say gender equals M and run that. And we get 2468. And if we wanted to see the female, same thing, we change the filter, right? But how do we get both of those in the same row? So one column for males and one column for females. And there's many ways to do this. I'll show you two ways you could do this. Uh, the first one is probably the most common one is going to be by using a case statement. Well, two type case statements. Uh, first, we're going to start with a sum. And we're going to say case when gender equals M, then one. And, and we'll call that male count. Add a comma for a new row. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Actually, I'm just going to copy that. Copy this paste it down here and change this to F for females and I'm going to put female count. All right, and that is, ooh, I cannot type today. That is from the patient's table and let's run it. And there you go, that we've got the query correct and we have a one column for male count and one for female count. So the way this works is when you're using a case statement, it basically, every time it found an M in the table, it made it a one. And since we have a sum over here, it adds up all those ones in our table. And that's how we end up with our male count. And same thing for our female count. And that's one way to solve it. And it's probably the most popular way to do it. I feel like when you're getting a question like this, do a percentage of or do a count of things that are in the same column, they usually want to steer you towards a case because it's just so versatile. Uh, but I'll show you a different way of doing this as well. All right, so we'll start with our select statement and instead of a sum or anything, we'll do nested uh, select statement. So we'll do select count star, or this could also be patient ID or any of those columns from the table like we stock, talked about before, from patients where gender equals M. Close parentheses as male count. And then do the exact same thing where gender equals F as female count. And just end the query here. And that's it. So basically, you're running within this one select statement, you're running two other ones. And these are independent of each other, right? So let's run these, run selection. And you can see down here, male count 2468, female count 2062, which is the exact same thing we had before. And that's it for the video. Hope you learned something. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions and follow me for more data content.